am a little more a little concerned that she got more applause than I do. And the people behind me and many others can attest to the fact that I'm only a telephone call away and that I return the telephone call. So I've got a top-notch staff right down the line. And we can't always agree with everybody. We can't always get everything done. But I'm working now on Route 22. And I'm working now on improvements at the airport. And I'm working now on rail service between Quakertown and Allentown. And rail service in the Lehigh Valley to New York. And rail service which will affect the region from Scranton to Hoboken. And working on Toby Hanley which provides jobs in this area. And I could go on in very, very considerable detail. And I have a tough fight on my hands in the primary. Uh, I didn't ask that the field be cleared, and uh, I'm prepared to <clears throat> take on all comers, and I don't take anything <coughs> for granted. But uh, I'm very encouraged by what uh, T.J. Rooney has said about endorsements, state committee, and uh, optimistic <coughs> about the primary. Not taking anything for granted, but looking to the fall and what is going to be a tough election for America, as well as a tough election for Arlen Inspector. The brutal fact of life is that you have a Republican Party which says no to everything. Senator McConnell was on Meet the Press yesterday, and they disagree with everything. We need health reform, and we need a robust public option. And the bill has been grossly misconstrued. Talking about death panels, well, there are no death panels. Talking about a government takeover, well, there's no government takeover. It's an option. And we have to reform Wall Street. And we have to handle the problems of uh, <coughs> climate change. And I'll be facing uh, Mr. Toomey. And no better place to talk about that race than the Lehigh Valley. <laughs> <laughs> I beat him before, and I can beat him again. election would be. You know that in the House of Representatives for six years he never voted for one appropriations bill except defense. You know that he didn't do anything for any of the local problems except to show up when I got money at the ribbon cutting. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that, was Mr. Toomey's, that was Mr. Toomey's sole participation. And here is a man on fundraising who brags about having a 97% voting record from the conservative union. Senator Santorum had 88%. And you know how well Senator Santorum fit into the, Phil the Pennsylvania political scene. <laughs> Mr. Toomey wanted to put Social Security funds in the stock market. Now, where would Social Security be today if they'd been in the stock market? Mr. Toomey says Wall Street does not need any changes. Well, I can understand his saying that because he's a Wall Street product. And I can stand, understand he wants the billions in Social Security in the stock market because it would make him and his friends very, very wealthy. And then about the woman's right to choose. Barry Goldwater, the quintessential conservative Republican of modern times, said, keep the government off our backs, out of our pocketbooks, and out of our bedrooms. But what does Mr. Toomey want to do? 
on Hardball with Chris Matthews, he said, doctors who perform abortions ought to go to jail. Well, if that isn't chilling, I do not know what is when the Supreme Court of the United States has said there is a constitutional right involved here, an expensive election. Supreme Court last week said corporations can advertise politically. Well, Mr. Toomey has a lot of corporations behind him. But if I had to choose a lot of corporations to be behind me or the public officials who are behind me and whom they represent the people, uh, I'll take uh, my backers today uh, and the people of Pennsylvania. And I pledge a, a very, very vigorous campaign, which is uh, the way uh, I do things. I've already visited every one of the 67 counties. You know, I visit every, almost every county almost every year, but I've always already met with all of the Democrats in all the counties. And I'll carry this uh, campaign to every, every section of the state. And I think I may be of some assistance at the top of the ticket. And I conclude where I began with my thanks for these very distinguished public servants, very distinguished citizens who have come out today to support my candidacy for re-election. Thank you.